All right, it's time for part two, hopefully the final part of the Super Metroid weapon run. And uh, in this run, I'm only using the wave and ice beams as weapons. Uh, also, regular missiles are permissible, but basically no weapons that uh, weren't in the original Metroid. So missiles, wave beam, and ice beam, that's about it. No super missiles, no power bombs. I mean, even the grappling beam is kind of, you know, not really allowed, but it's it's so weak that, you know, I might use it here and there to, like, grab a, grab a power up from an enemy or something like that. But, uh, yeah, no, no real weapon usage from any of the post-Metroid 1 games in this series. And if you saw part 1 of this run, you know that uh, this is pretty tough, to say the least. So, at this point in the game, I'm up to where you get the plasma beam normally. So, all of the enemies, <coughs> especially the bosses, now have a lot more health than they did before before this point. So all of a sudden my wave beam is extremely uh, insignificant against uh, the stuff that I'm fighting. So I'm having a pretty tough time. Um, if you watch the first episode, I got to the Golden Terizo boss in Norfair and got uh, pretty much stomped by it. Uh, I did hang in there though. It was like a 15 minute long fight and eventually it got me. Um, so yeah. That's, it's going to be a tough fight, and after that we've got Ridley, and he's even tougher. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this isn't going to be easy at all. Can I beat Super Metroid with only weapons from the original Metroid? That's the question here. And right now, I don't know. I don't know. But regardless, what am I doing right now, you may ask? Well, I am running the hell away from Ridley's lair because I'm going to go and farm a little bit. I'm going to get a few energy tanks, mainly, and a missile or two as well. And uh, hopefully that helps me to, uh, to win these last couple fights. Uh, my main goal is to get as many energy tanks as possible. And uh, I've got a, a route planned out as we speak. And... Uh, already breaking the rules of the weapon run, but I'm in kind of a hurry here. So I'm going to use the power bomb to, uh, to break that block instead of trying to hit it with regular bombs, which is taking forever. Uh, so yeah, basically I've got a couple of missiles I want to get and a bunch of uh, energy tanks. And hopefully it's enough to, uh, to beat the game, but we'll see. Um, specifically, I've got... Uh, one energy tank in Meridia, uh, one reserve tank in the wrecked ship, uh, one energy tank in Criteria, and then five, five energy and reserve tanks in Brinstar. And then I'm going to loop back around, get back up to uh, Ridley's lair, and uh, give the Golden Chozo statue another shot. Now, by my calculations, this will give me about twice as much energy as I have now. So, this is nothing to sneeze at, at all. And it should give me a pretty significant edge on that fight when I try it again. Oh, that's weird. I could have sworn there was a door here. And yeah, this has ceased to be a speed run uh, like a while ago because it's more of a challenge run than anything else. But I'm still going to be going pretty fast. You know, I'm going to get through this as quick as I can, uh, especially this farming phase. You know, I'm just going to get it done. I think, yeah, there's a couple secret passages here that you can use. Thank you. 
So this should get me to the energy tank for Meridia, which you actually have to ride this turtle to get to it, which is kind of awesome. Although in my case, I could just space jump up to it, so, you know. But yeah, that turtle is actually a unique NPC for, for this particular room. I don't think it appears anywhere else in the game, which is kind of awesome. And it's even got little turtles. But at this point, I'm going to leave it alone because it's clearly not too thrilled with my being in its room. So I'm just going to kind of be on my way pretty quickly there. Let's see. At this point, I just need to get back to the previous room. I'm just trying to remember the best way to do that. There we go. Yeah, this was the door I was looking for before. I didn't actually have to go up and around. It's okay to use things like super missiles for gates and doors, because you have no other way to open them a lot of the time, so that is permissible. I really just can't use um, advanced weapons on the enemies, that's all. I have to stick to the original set of weapons. But yeah, I gotta say, this has been a pretty interesting run for me. It was... Uh, the first half of the game was, was really interesting, just using the power beam and the, the ice beam without the spacer. You know, I didn't have that, that range that the spacer gives you. Um, but it, it made the game more interesting. And the second half of the game has just been the wave beam all the way. And uh, seeing it like by itself without any enhancements isn't something that happens during the regular game. So that's also pretty interesting. And all in all, it's it's just been a fun run, you know. Let's see. I think... Yeah, I'm going to get the spring ball while I'm down here. This is an item that I pretty much always skip when I play this game. You know, I, I never, never pick up the spring ball. But it's a really fun little item. And I'm right here, so I'm just going to try to grab it while I'm here. See, if you're really quick in this room, you can take out that wall before this guy gets to it. And that way you don't have to wait for him to go all the way around the room again. And then after that you just kind of follow and uh, this happens. This is another uh, unique NPC. You only see this guy in this one room. And again, he's not necessarily hostile. You know, if you don't attack him, you know, just, just kind of let him do his thing and leave him alone. I like that Super Metroid has uh, things like that. Things that only appear once. You know, most most 16-bit games just didn't have the memory for that kind of thing. But uh, this one does, so that's cool. But yeah, this has been a fun run, and uh, I really hope that I succeed in finishing it. But we'll see. And there's the spring ball. I usually only get this if I'm going for a hundred percent. I'm going for like all the items. It's just it's just not something that I get under normal circumstances. And yeah, it lets you jump in ball form, which is super fun. Speaking of a hundred percent, that's probably gonna be my next playthrough of this game, which I'm planning for a couple months from now. Um, I'm going to do a 100% speedrun, which I've never done before. Like, not ever. I've done speedruns. I mean, I've done lots of speedruns. And I've gotten 100% um, at least once. But I've never done a 100% speedrun. Uh, I think I pretty much know where all the items are off the top of my head. And if I don't, I can always brush up with uh, you know the Nintendo Power Guide. 
And uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun going for 100%. Especially seeing how fast I can do it. I'm predicting it'll only take maybe twice as long as, as playing the game normally does. Yeah, you know, I don't think it's going to be like a huge, uh, huge difference on time. You know, instead of taking an hour and a half, I think it'll take like three hours. You know, that's, that's my prediction. Alright, so I'm just trying to remember how to get out of here. I basically am leaving Meridia the same way I, I came in, which is through the wrecked ship. And now that I have the spring ball, I'm just going to do a lot of ball form, and it'll save me a little bit of time. Plus, it's really fun. You know, once you have the spring ball, you can, like, play the whole game in ball form if you want to. Wow, they really didn't want you to go back out of here, did they? So, I have one reserve tank to get in the wrecked ship. I thought about actually skipping this one because it's the only item on my list that's really out of my way to go get. But it's not that out of the way, and it's an extra 100 energy, which, I mean, honestly, I'll take everything I can get. Wait, what? Is there... There's gotta be a way out of here. I was a little concerned for a second there. I'm like, they wouldn't they wouldn't block the way back out of here, would they? Make you go the long way around? That would be just ridiculous. dash before you start jumping, you get a lot more momentum. It's one of the really cool things about this game. The, the physics engine in this game is just outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. Oh hey, this is that room that killed me like four times in part one. My new least favorite room in the entire game. That was another unique NPC. It only appears in that one room. Another unique NPC right there. Sorry, that was probably a little bit loud. Yeah, that uh, that orange guy that was on the roof right there. Another unique NPC. It uh, it actually mirrors your movements, and it's the only enemy in the entire game that mirrors your movements like that. 
plus it's the only enemy of that model that is orange so another unique mob if you will let's see I have to I might have to consult my maps here I've actually got my got my Nintendo power maps handy my uh, players guide maps just in case just in case I need a little extra help I thought I was stuck for a split second. I got worried. And there's our next reserve tank. And that's all I need from the wrecked ship. Seems a lot of fun once you have all the power-ups. You're just like zipping all over the place. Collecting little missiles and random things that you missed. But yeah, once you have the speed booster and the, the space jump, yeah, it's a lot of fun. that actually worked. I was just trying to figure out the best way to get up here and then I'm just like I'm just gonna take a stab at this and hope I land in the right place and I did. So yeah there's a, a place on that wall right there where you can bomb your way through it to get to this hidden area. I'm actually taking a lot of damage, so I might want to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, I just passed right by the ship, too. I could have healed. Oh well. I actually couldn't think of it. When I get this energy tank, it's going to heal me, so... Booyah. So that's it for Criteria. We're now done with this area, too. Now I have five things to get in Brinstar, and then I'm going to go back and try fighting that gold statue again. Hopefully this time it goes a little better. land right in the middle of those collapsing blocks, you can get both of these missiles. But I flubbed it, and now I can't get over to the other side. See? Oh well. Missiles are not what's going to kill me. Uh, energy tanks. Energy tanks are the thing I need to worry about. Just 
just opening that door for later. This is actually the tough part, because I have to remember where everything is. Alright, I think this is one. Yeah, that's one of the five things I want to get. This is something I don't need, can't use it, but I had to grab it in order to get out of that area. Star is definitely my favorite area in this game. It has like this kind of mystical quality to it because there are so many hidden things here in Brinstar. Just a lot of hidden stuff. Like this room right here is actually a callback to the original Metroid. There's an energy tank in a room that looks just like this. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice reference. So that's two, two out of five. So three more. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Damn it. That's okay. Just means I'm going to have to get out of this area the, the long way now. Oh, these are the, uh, the animals that uh, you saved during the ending. Oh, another, another unique NPC, by the way. Another thing I didn't mean to do. Well, this uh, this gets us to the other animal of the uh, the animals that you saved during the ending, and he teaches you how to do this, which I already know how to do. So yeah, check that out. See, like I said, Brinstar is full of secrets. It's full of cool little things to discover.
As you can see, I already have a lot more energy than I had before. Plus, I've got three reserve tanks. I have to fill those up, though. Last one that I have is at the very beginning of the game, in that uh, that blue area where you first get missiles. It's great how everything's interconnected in this game. So you can loop around and end up back where you started and get this thing. It's actually possible to get this at the very beginning of the game if you like really know what you're doing, but it's it's pretty hard. Not easy at all. Yeah, that was a nice little 20 minute detour, and it got me about twice as much energy as I had before. Maybe even more than that, actually. If you factor in the reserve tanks, it might be more like uh, two and a half times as much energy as I had before. I'm going to hit this energy station right here, and I really hope it restores my reserve tanks, because otherwise I'm going to have to stop and farm. It didn't. Darn. 
Yeah, I don't remember where the fourth and final reserve tank is. It's completely escaping me at the moment. I mean, there's the one in Brinstar that we just got. There's the one in Wrecked Ship that we just got. Um, there's the one in the Bubble Room in Norfair that I got earlier. So where's the fourth one? This is gonna this is gonna bother me until I look it up. <laughs> yeah, if I remembered for sure where it was, it would have been on my list of items to get on my little uh, sojourn just now. Okay, so now I have to get back down to Ridley's lair as quick as I can and battle that statue. But I have to remember, on the way, I have to fill up those reserve tanks. got a perfect place to do that right here. This works out really well. should have done it then. Yep, 300 in reserve. Excellent. for the rematch with the golden statue and I'm gonna need to concentrate a lot for this one. I mean even with you know two or two and a half times as much energy as I had before it's still gonna be really tough. Thank you. 
This is good. This is good. He's not gold anymore. That means he's very close to being defeated here. took twice as much energy as I had before. It really was just a war of attrition. Wow. I am I am blown away right now. I did not uh, I did not know if that fight was ever gonna end. Alright, there's the screw attack. And the screw attack was in the original Metroid, so it is fair game to use as a weapon. Then again the space jump was not in the original Metroid. But I'm not going to disable that, because that would just make make things a little too tedious. Alright, Ridley next. And I'm glad I didn't have to use my reserve tanks on that fight, because it means I don't have to refill them. And I should be able to get most of my uh, normal energy back by the time I get to Ridley. So there are two more energy tanks to get in the entire game, and both of them are in Ridley's lair. One of them is right here, and the other one is right after the fight with Ridley. So I'm actually going to end up getting all the energy tanks on this run, which I think might actually be necessary, for me at least, 
to get through it with these weapons. I'm short one reserve tank, but I think I'll be okay. I'll save that for the 100% run in a couple months. These red Key Hunter guys, they have more health than any other enemy in the game that I know of. Like regular enemies. Most health of any regular enemy. And I'm not even going to try to fight them without the Plasma Beam. Then again, the screw attack probably one-shots them, so what am I talking about? But either way. guys might be a, a huge pain. Yeah, this this is going to be a pain. See, you have to wait for these guys to attack before they'll be vulnerable. And sometimes they just don't do it. WTF. That was a whiff. Alright, that's one down. Really helps if you can isolate them. I feel like I should go back and save now that I've got that guy uh, out of the way, or those guys out of the way. Um, yeah, I'm going to go back and save, because I really don't want to have to do that again. I mean, yeah, it's going to cost me like, you know, five minutes or so, but it's okay. attack one shots those guys but yeah I'm definitely not gonna try to defeat them with the wave beam because even with the plasma beam they take a lot of damage
sword attack is really OP, actually. Now for the boring part, I have to farm energy. There's no way I'm going to fight Ridley with less than full health. I should get some missiles too. I think missiles are probably going to be the way to go against Ridley because uh, missiles can do damage a lot faster than the charge wave beam can. Um, I just couldn't use them against the gold statue because he's actually immune to missiles. But Ridley is not immune to missiles. So this might actually give me a, an edge over Ridley that I didn't have over the statue. I still think Ridley is going to be a harder fight though, but we'll see. If I, if I hit him with almost all of my missiles, like if I don't miss a lot, um, I should be able to get him pretty close to, to defeat it with what I have. And then I'll use the wave beam for the rest of it. It's just like the original Metroid, where you had to fight Ridley with missiles and the wave beam. <laughs> missiles did more damage, but the wave beam was easier to hit him with. So it was kind of like your, your choice. Wow, how many missiles do I have? This is, this is impressive. I think I had this many. <laughs> that should do it. Tempted to go back and save again, <laughs> but that's okay. Hopefully I can win this on the first try. I mean, really, let's hope.
of missiles. Damn. I didn't do as much damage as I was hoping I would, because I, I missed a lot, and uh, he hasn't even really changed colors yet, so that's not good. Plus, I've taken a lot of damage already. gets, the less, like, ferocious he gets, which is kind of interesting. Oof. Why'd I do that? Oof. <laughs> For like a split second I thought I won, and then I realized, no, wait, I just, uh, I'm down to my last leg here. Oh no. Damn it. Now my cat's scratching at the door. I have to just hold on a second, buddy. What? How did he knock me out of that attack? What? I didn't know that any enemies could knock you out of the score attack. He just did. Wow, I can't believe this. I'm actually going to lose this fight. This cat just picks like the worst possible times until I do. Yep, probably not. And we lose. <sighs> Man, I think I think I almost got him though. That was real close. That was real close. Alright, well that's it for today. I was gonna go all the way and, and finish the game if, if I had won that fight, but uh, we'll give it another shot later. <laughs>